we next consider a point Q from which shown over here. S2Q minus S1Q is equal to 2 lambda. The waves emanating from S1 will arrive exactly 2 cycles earlier than the waves from S2 and will again be in phase. Thus, if the displacement produced by S1 is given by Y1 is equal to A into cos omega t. Whereas the displacement S2 is given by Y2 is equal to A into cos omega t minus 4 pi, which is cos omega t once again. So, there is a constructive interference at a point Q for which the path difference is 2 lambda, where we have used the fact that a path difference of 2 lambda corresponds to a phase difference of 4 pi. The two displacements are once again in phase and the intensity will again be 4 I naught, giving rise to the constructive interference. In the above analysis, we have assumed that the distance S1Q and S2Q are much greater than D, so which represents the distance between S1 and S2, so that although S1Q and S2Q are not equal. The amplitude of the displacement produced by each wave are very nearly the same. We next consider a point R for which S2R and S1R the difference is minus 2.5 lambda. The waves emanating from S1 will arrive exactly two and a half cycles later than the waves from S2. Thus, if the displacement produced by S1 is given by Y1 is equal to A cos omega t and the displacement produced by S2 is given by Y2 equal to A cos omega t plus phi pi which is A minus of A into cos omega t. Over here, the constructive interference at a point R for which the path difference is 2.5 lambda, the difference is 2.5. Where we have used the fact that a path difference of 2.5 lambda correspond to a phase difference of phi pi as the one we have used. So the two displacement are now out of phase. You can see it. And the two displacement will cancel out to give the zero intensity. This is referred to as, what is it? That's your destructive interference. They are out of phase. If you have two coherent sources S1 and S2 vibrating in phase, then for your arbitrary point P, whenever the path difference is S1P minus S1P is equal to N lambda. That the constructive interference and the resultant intensity will be 4 into I naught. So the sign, this one, approx or maybe, which indicates not minus, between S1 and P and S2P represent the difference between S1P and S2P. So it indicates minus. On the other end, if the point P is such that the path difference will have destructive interference and the resultant intensity will be 0. So from this we are able to identify the equation is S1P minus S1, S2P is equal to N plus half into lambda where N represents either 0, 1, 2, 3 it will go on. Now for any arbitrary point G let the phase difference between the two displacement be phi. Thus, if the displacement produced by S1 is given by Y1 is equal to cos omega t and the displacement produced by S2 is given by Y2 is equal to A into cos omega t plus phi. So, the resultant displacement is adding Y1 and Y2 cos omega t plus 
cos omega t plus phi taking out a outside you got 2a into cos phi by 2 into cos omega t plus phi by 2 